This is Murawai Beach, and I'm here to explore a secret that has lain under these dark sands long forgotten. In late May of 2018, after some huge tides and storms, a strange ghostly shape emerged from the remote sands of Murawai. It was an incredible find. A substantial wooden ship had appeared from nowhere. Oh my gosh, an entire shipwreck. Looked as though it had just been built yesterday. The whole boat's here. We're gonna dig this thing out. What was this ship and how did it end up on a distant beach 150 years ago? We didn't know what ship it was until one of the main deck beams was exposed. 46541. That number called down through the years and led straight to a perfect match. Daring, registered in Auckland, 1863. This is such a significant part of New Zealand's history. This has got to be saved. The remarkable return journey of the Daring is an extraordinary story. Beached and abandoned. An unlikely tale of grit and determination. There were times when we didn't think it was actually going to come out. A story of a hard land. A wicked wrecking coast of treacherous winds. It's an unlikely tale of survival against the odds. A fleeting history and the loss of traditional knowledge and the power of a new scientific approach to ship preservation. Our biggest enemy in conservation is salts. If we allow it to dry out too fast, that water disappears quickly and there's a collapse. All this driven by a group of inspirational individuals who have helped save this incredible part of maritime history. The daring spoke to us in that way that, you know, I have a spirit, you know, I have a story to tell, save me. There was some really nervous moments, I think, for everyone when they were starting to try and release it from the sand. It was twisting and creaking and groaning. You could actually see it flexing. A few times we actually thought, this is not going to come out in one piece. The poor old thing would have probably thought, I'm coming out of this grave. I'm, I'm here, I've arrived. Everyone was so emotional about, here's the ship, she's intact. They had a deadline, they had to get it off the beach, all right? It's just so fantastic to see it arrive. I had a tear in my eye. It was quite amazing. I'm here to tell the story of a ghost. A ship that will never have a life at sea again, but whose body and spirit will live on. It was built here this way, and to think that it's come back. She's a much bigger boat than I expected. The preservation of this vessel is incredible. When you actually analyze the wood under a microscope, you can see that she's in great condition. All the way on your feet! The story of New Zealand has always been completely defined by the ocean. A day sail is a great way to understand how daring could cope with the North Island coastal challenges. You can really feel it driving through the water. It's got a lovely feel about it, actually. Where in this bay all this boat building activity took place is something of a bone of contention. The vessel was built at Ming Fai Heads. We know where it was. I don't understand why there's contention at all. Throughout all the struggles, the wins and the losses, the setbacks and the triumphs, the passion and dedication of this group of ship savers has been truly impressive. It's just an old ship, but it's got something about it that you just wrap your arms around and you just don't let it go. I think you just fall in love with it.